And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous, because for a second time this month, someone set several fires to water a greater holy temple in Flint. We've got another fire back here. When they ran back, they saw this one on fire. Then they ran and saw the other one on fire. Sandra Jones is reliving the nightmare all over again. When this happened a few weeks ago, five pallets of water were destroyed then. Police ruled it arson. The water, which is stored in the church's parking lot, is distributed six days a week, so families of the city's lead water crisis can have clean water to cook with, drink, and bathe in. If we lose it all, it would be a great tragedy, and I don't think that it's taken serious. Jones and Martin are now frustrated and angry. They say the fire department never showed up to investigate. And when they called police this time, they were told because the case was arson, an officer wouldn't show up. Something like this, um, I think it should be taken as a serious okay. matter. Okay. However, it hasn't been. Okay. Okay. All of this out here could be one big fire. The church is the largest faith-based water distribution center in Flint. And unless water is being distributed, the church says the gate surrounding the parking lot is always locked. Who and why someone would set water on fire? And now I'm thinking more that it's from the side because on this side, this is where all the water was knocked over. I can't even imagine. I mean, my mind just can't wrap around this because it's not any money involved. We, our church is doing this just because it's a need.